now that's done I'm just gonna make sure that my frontal hasn't got no hiccups like lumps or anything it's all sitting flat which it is Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Shanna. I know you can't see me, but the focus is on this wig. I want to teach you guys how to do a quick and simple frontal replacement. Like, girl, look at that. So, this is my dear sister's wig. <laughs> my client slash client. <laughs> so, we are going to replace her frontal. This wig was not made by me, it was not, I don't know who made it, but, girl, yeah, they've done a pretty good job sewing the frontal, right? I'm just brushing the old frontal hairs away, because we need to tie that. Because they sold in, like, a whole frontal. Normally, I do my measurement, then sew in. But we're just gonna follow their method and then do the cutting of the frontal later. I hope you guys can see that. Let me just flip my screen because I'm not using my okay, yeah. Because I'm not using my laptop to see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do that. Okay, I think that's all of it. So first, what you want to do is tie the frontal. Make sure you're not getting her bundles up in here. We don't want to cut her bundles, do we? So, tie the hair, the old frontal. Use your hairband, which I have one here prepared. Prepared and all that. Tie that away. So, it should look like that okay and then now you can tie this up as well but because I haven't washed the hair in this wig it's not gonna give me too much of a problem I'm gonna wash it after but let's just do so that we can get a clear view of everything okay. So, I bleached the knots, I dyed it jet black because her hair is jet black. I didn't get to uh, condition it because I still need to wash the hair. I just wanted to, you know, come up here and show you guys. Ooh. So, you want to hold your frontal like this. So, this is the back, right? Place it in the middle. Ugh, go down a bit, darling. I hope you guys can see that. One sec. Alright, hope you guys can get a clear view now. So, place this right in the middle, like that. Grab your pins. I should have one down here. Grab your pin, just put it above. Put it above your um, old frontal and pin that down. Okay. And keep putting these pins. Make sure you stretch out your frontal. Where's the rest? So that you won't get no bumps. You can put as much pins as you want like as you need but for me i'm just getting what i have in hand <laughs> where's my hand okay So, 
it should look like that and this side we'll do the same for this side as well I need more pin do I have any? yeah I do Okay, so once you've done that, you can go ahead and start your stitch. And make sure you do close stitching, okay guys? So that your frontal sits properly. You want to go off and start with the other side, but this time I'm going to remove my middle pin and start with the middle. Excuse my crusty nails. So now that's done I'm just going to make sure that my frontal hasn't got no hiccups like lumps or anything. It's all sitting flat which it is. Okay that's not bad. Alright so, so now what we want to do is cut the old frontal off just the same way as you will cut your excess lace your excess um what's this thing called cap so i'm gonna go off and cut this off Here you have it, just like that, you've got a new wig. I'm just going to go off and wash, wash the remaining hair and stuff, wash the bundles, wash the entire wig, give it a good deep conditioner, 
conditioning and stuff and then I'll style it and show you guys the last the last clip <laughs> so hey guys this is the finish look for this wig I cut the lace off styled it because obviously my client can't cut her lace so I had to cut it for her way too what what do you want to say wow <laughs> oh, yeah the hair's nice and bouncy I don't know where she got her hair from I'm not too sure where she got the lace from but she did get it from Aliexpress <laughs> she did get it from Aliexpress but anyways thank you guys for watching do stay tuned comment down below let me know what you think of the turnout I shall see you soon oh no I need to tell them oh before I go this is the lace tint I use I got I found this on eBay it's not bad it does the job I'll put the link down below if I find it on eBay again and yeah it's all tinted up I use the caramel because she's a bit lighter but yeah that is it we shall see you guys soon